friends, it's Allison. Welcome back to AJ's Inspired Life. I am working on Collage Weekly Planner number 30. These are Marguerite Miller's prompts and I will leave her link below. If you are not playing along, feel free to do so. Uh, you don't have to start at the beginning of the year. You can do them out of order. You can do whatever you want. Basically, it's just fun and I am so enjoying these. So I <laughs> I don't know about this page. I'm going to tell you right from the beginning, but let's just see what <laughs> let's just see where it goes. How about that? Okay. I am working in my um like painty paper journal, if you will. It's just mixed paper. She sells a journal. You could buy it. Um, she has an Etsy store as well as a website. So I will link her channel below where you can find the links to all of her goodness. So week number 30, something maroon, something or graph paper, origami or folded paper, colorful paper, a place, and then a portion of a brochure or an advertisement. I don't know, you guys. I I really don't know on this one, but um, let's let's see, <laughs> let's see what we could do. So, for maroon, okay. First of all, this is the page that I opened up to, and so like I feel like that's already maroon. If we want to be quite honest, I might just use half the page. Um, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so something maroon. I don't know. Okay, let me let me show you what I got. I have this stack of little color cellophane that I found in my stash. And I mean, half the fun for me, you guys, is looking for the stuff. I'm not going to lie. I, I get just such, I don't know. It's just fun. Um, I don't even know what this is. I don't know. But that looked like maroon. I guess it's more red, but I feel like it's maroon. I mean, that's kind of fun. I don't know. Gosh. Okay, so I feel like I could use that for maroon. Um, let's see if I grab something else maroon. I have... Maroon was kind of a hard one also. Okay, let's just, let's just pretend that's going to be our maroon for now. Okay, if you saw my last... Um, my last page I did, I used graph paper as well. So I happen to have these out on my desk. Uh, this actual prompt is for graph paper, so I do have this one already out. I also have um, this little tag. And then I had pulled this stack of, um, well, it says writing pad, but I use them obviously for this journal. It has some graph papers in it. So, I mean, even if it had like this cloud is graph, which is kind of cool. It has like that, which looks like regular graph paper pink graph paper. Um, this heart is kind of fun. Um, it had one more. Oh, here's like a cream that could also kind of go with that page. So I'm, I'm liking this color more so than this almost because like, you know, it doesn't really have this in it with the exception of this red kind of ties in. So I'm just going to rule this out again. Just put it off to the side. This one I feel like is a little bit more tied in together. I am liking this cream one a little bit. Let's see if there's more graph. Here's a here's a graph. So this one has like a black line. This has more of a typical blue line to it. I'm really liking this black one for some reason. It's standing out to me. So, um, let's make that decision. All right, we're going to use, I think, this one. And these prompts are just so, um, I don't know. Okay, so the next one is origami or folded paper. Now that's interesting because I have this piece which I already made and I showed you guys in a previous video and I also saved oops, this one. Um same idea, right? I made it for the same page. I was practicing, but this one obviously fits better because of this yellow. I thought I was going to use this one. But again, this page is already prepped with this color, so I'm just trying to coordinate so I'll save that little guy. 
I saw someone's video. Now look it, I got out my origami paper, so I have some some papers. Well, I think they're origami papers. What do I know? I mean, any of these, I don't really know what origami paper is. How about we just take a step back, Allison, and not sound like we know what we're talking about. Um, I feel like origami paper is in a certain size and maybe it's thin, right? And this, like, it's so pretty. So, um, but these colors don't really match. See this? Um, this blue one right here, I guess, could maybe do something. I'm not too sure. Don't really know about these. So that's that. I don't really know what I'm doing yet with that. Now I will tell you, I saw someone's video and please forgive me because I don't know who it was and I forgot. And I try really hard not to watch um, too many and get it stuck in my brain as to like, that's what I'm going to make because it's hard for me to kind of, anyway, the point is she made like three or four beautiful origami butterflies and they were on a string and they hang out of her book. And I was like, oh my gosh. And I did have this little thing, but I don't, one, I don't want to copy whoever that was. And I'm, please forgive me if it was you. I, please forgive me. I, I am so sorry. Um, so I'm not going to make a butterfly, but I was thinking I could make something. I could probably make this pocket. Now, I say probably because if you, if you're not new here, if you're new here, welcome. Thank you for being here. Please subscribe and, you know, push the like button. Um, if you're not new here and you saw me make this guy, uh, you know, this took about all the brain power I had. Mm -hmm. Not going to lie. So this is like a triangle square thing. And so you can see from the shape of these, this may not be within my functioning right now. So, um, yeah, I could maybe make this pocket thing is what I was thinking of and maybe, you know, have it as a journaling space or something. I don't really know. This one, I mean, please, I could do any of these if I took the time and like, but certainly not on camera and it would take me a few, right? Yeah. So I don't really know. I'm tempted to just use this because it's here and easy. And then my other thought is I could make this pocket. So we'll keep that open. We'll keep that open as an option. Okay. So that's um, origami paper. The next one is colorful paper, which I mean, I think this would qualify. Obviously any of this would qualify, but I'm not in love with it. I'm not, I'm not going to pretend I am. And I found this beautiful pack of paper from Sweet Karen. She sent me a long time ago and you know what I did with it. I totally hoard it. I don't use it, but look at this paper. I've never seen like, oh my gosh. I love it. And I have, I mean, obviously I have other, all sorts of scrapbooking paper and stuff, but look at this. Oh, this is why I hoard it. Cause look at, there's only one piece each and I don't know what, mm. but I feel like I really want to use this. Um, oh my gosh. I've never seen anything like it. It's too dang cute. So I feel like I just want to use this. I'm drawn to this one. I'm also drawn to not using my favorite, but I feel like, I mean, I don't know you guys. I don't know. These are not as colorful. If the actual prompt is colorful paper, then I feel like I should use one of these with the big, I mean, all the colors on it. Oh, Oh my gosh. I don't know who this is or it's, uh, um, I'm so bad at like this part, you guys, the characters and the stuff. I don't know. It's so, oh, it's it, there. I think that's the name. Is it Tokidoki? Is that the 
characters and the It's so stinking cute. Okay, I'm, okay, kind of funny. Okay, I'm gonna use this and I, I'm just in love with it and I'm just gonna make myself use it because that's what it was given to me for is with the intention of using it. We're just gonna do it, it's gonna be okay. All right, I'm gonna use this graph paper, this, because I love it. I don't even know if I just want to cover up. I don't want to cover up any part of this, so that's part of the problem. I'm gonna cut this rainbow border off and use it for something else. Gosh knows that will be usable. But I am liking the cream graph paper. And then the last prompt, well, let's see. Okay, so we're not gonna use this, but obviously, obviously saving it. We're not gonna use this little graph thing, so we'll tuck that away right here. Okay, um, colorful paper, a place. Th these are the hardest prompts, I feel like, the entire thing. She's like amped up the game at week 30. Okay. I mean, a place could be anywhere, right? I mean, a place could be like in my heart. It could be, I don't know. All right, I'm gonna get this out, I think, for my maroon, just because, oh, but that I don't like at all with the green. Like that grosses me out and reminds me of Christmas, which doesn't sound right, I know, but I don't like red and green together unless it's Christmas, so. Um. I don't know. Okay, this I'm going to put away. I'm going to use this as my maroon, I'm pretty sure. Gosh, that's gross on that green, though. Okay. Maybe. I don't even know. I'm not making any progress. Okay, maroon, graph paper, origami or folded paper. I feel like I'm going to use this. However, I'm feeling very brave right now. I'm feeling very brave and I'm feeling like I might be able to recreate this with this paper. Do you even think that's possible? Well, anything's possible, but you know what I'm saying? All right. Let's just go for it because it's art and that's what these prompts are for is to, right? Please tell me you said yes before I just made that cut. All right. <sighs> okay, big breath. That that feels a little scary, I'm not gonna lie. So the, the problem with this thing is I don't think it holds a fold. Let's see, there's one fold. Oh, maybe it does. Two folds. And that's all I remember. So I'm not gonna do this thing because I think that's outside of my skill level right now. So let's play along, shall we, Allison? Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, I think I watched this on August Moon's channel. Um, I'll, I'll link her below. I remember we folded it once and then we folded it this way. Look at one fold, two fold, okay. <laughs> and then and then what do we do? Oh my gosh. I think I'm gonna have to use the yellow one. The fun part is it can fold either way into a <laughs> and this is what I did last time. Okay, she made it one way. I wanna say like a square. And then when I folded it back up, it didn't go that way and it went another way and it was like a triangle, which was super cool too. Obviously you fold it one way to get a triangle and one way to get... You guys, I feel like I'm... I might have had one too many fizzes today. Maybe that's what's happening. Okay, one, 
You guys, my husband's upstairs making dinner. And I'm like, um, I'll be up in just a minute. And I pretty much just lied to him because this is going to take more than a minute. Okay, there's that. Okay. And then we folded it into the corner. Because if I pull this off, it's going to be like a magic trick. This paper is a little crazy. All right, there's one fold to the corner or to the middle. There's two folds to the middle. Not quite because I didn't measure it and all the good stuff. Um, okay, so mine looks like this now. So if I unfold this and I unfold this, it's the same, okay? And then you squish it together in the middle like that to get the square. So I don't know if this paper is going to do that, but we'll see. Yeah. Am I causing anyone else some anxiety right now? <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. That might be my origami. Well, everybody has skills, you know. Everybody has skills, you guys. This just obviously is not mine, okay? For real, though. It should fold. I feel like I didn't fold it one of the ways it's supposed to be folded. Like, see how this has a fold right here? Okay, go back. There's the paper. This has a fold this way. Okay. You guys, this is why you come to my channel. So you can feel like you're nailing today. If you ever doubt that you have today completely under control, come here because Allison has a hard time folding paper. Okay, so if we do it like that, then you can glue it and it unfolds like a journaling square that way, right? Although I still really like the yellow just because of this yellow. I feel like this counts as maroon, honestly, but I'm also wondering about this little, but I don't know what to do with the cellophane because we could totally use this. I'm gonna paint on this actually. Um, I don't know how cool the cellophane actually is. What if we folded it up and it was inside the square? What if we did that and then you opened it and it was like that? Okay, what do we think about that? We could even put it like in the middle of our page and glue it down and then you'd have like a hidden journaling spot. Okay. What do we think about that? All right, we're playing with it, but at least we got something to work. Okay, so that's origami, a folded paper, colorful paper. We have this, you guys, a place that these, I'm telling you, this is the hardest one for me, a place and then a portion of a brochure or an advertisement. Well, I went through my junk journaling supplies and this um 
please excuse me because I do not know what language this is in. Okay, but this is actually a brochure um, for Oregon. And so I thought it said portion of brochure in a place. I feel like I could choose one of these. But see, I feel like nothing's going to kind of go with this. But that actually, like if I cut off this piece, or if I just cut off that maybe, maybe that's kind of cool. I mean, I, I literally obviously don't know what it says, and I don't know if that's okay, but... I mean, I could just use this as a portion of a brochure. This is all a brochure for um, Oregon. This is also maroon, like the writing itself, and so I could use that. Um, this picture I thought was cool, but it like doesn't really go with my colors now. That's kind of funny, actually. That's kind of funny. Um, I mean, like, here's a map of Oregon. guys I don't know this is I'm not joking the hardest one for me I've ever I've done out of I think all all of them like I, I'm just gonna do it because I and it's so funny because the last one um came together like butter all right let's cut this does it fit in my cutter yes it does okay We're gonna do this. We are gonna throw out, although that's a pretty picture, I'll keep it for the glue book. That's also a pretty picture, I'll keep it for the glue book. You guys, I'm such a ding dong. I, like, you know when you know what works for you but you don't apply it in other places, like, like if something works for you and it's a transitional um, skill or a transitional like something, it would make sense to apply it in other places of your life, right? I was not doing that. And so I was having like a real struggle with like how to keep my glue book images. And um, finally, I, I'm like, why am I fighting myself? I just got out another file folder and made a file folder and I have it in my box of glue book images and things that speak to me. Okay, like this for an example, I cut out for my glue book. It's going in my glue book folder. File folder. Um, and for me right now, that's what's working. Literally, just this file folder, I just labeled it glue book and things I specifically pull from my glue book, I pop in here and it goes in my thing. Yeah, I don't know. Like how long did it take me to figure that out? Too long. Okay. We are gonna do something like this. I know those trees are upside down. I know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Okay. Um, you guys, I don't know. I'm really struggling on this. I might have to come back. I might have to leave it and come back. I'm feeling a little disjointed and maybe pulled to not be doing this right now. Maybe go help my husband cook dinner. Um, he doesn't need my help, but. Um, I am also tempted to see if I can I'm cracking myself up with how daring I feel like I am on this thing. Um, should we try folding one more? Because that seems totally painful. Yeah, why not do it 
you know, out of cardstock, which will even be harder. Oh, and not straight. You'd think with graph paper, but no. Not even close to straight. That's one way to not make a square, huh? That edge is straight, actually. All right, let's run it this way. So this is like a four inch. Four inch square, yeah, okay. All right. Wow, I'm glad you guys have all day to hang out with me and, okay, this is what I remember. We're gonna fold, oh, this will be interesting because it's maroon, no. No, it's not. It's white on one side. We're gonna fold one way, I know. And then we fold this way. And then we'll fold into the corner or into the middle. Do the same here. And I am going to fold them back on themselves and do the same thing that way. Okay, and then you take it and you do something like this and you fold them in on themselves like that. Okay, and then you have a square. See, look how easy that was when you just take a breath. And if it's not square, you just cut it, right? <laughs> just pretend like it is, it's fine. Now, so that's interesting because now they're folded differently. So I'm wondering if I can, right? So it would be white on the outside. unless it's not, unless it's maroon on the outside. And graph paper on the inside. I do like the yellow still. Um, what do you think about that? Did I even have you? That'd be really horrific. Oh, I do, because look how far out I am, my goodness. You guys can't even see that cool paper. Let's do that. Is that better? All right. Um, Cause then it would open like with the graph paper. I don't know. I'm still kind of torn with this cellophane stuff. It's weird. Um, So I could kind of adhere it onto my page somehow, even up here, if we wanted the journaling spot there, and then it would just open this way. Oh, all right, that may be it. Let's just, I, I don't know why I fight with it so much. Okay, let's just make a decision and move forward, shall we? Guys ever glued cellophane down? Me either. All right. I thought that might be a little bit easier to manipulate once I got it on there, but it clearly wasn't. Um, so obviously the easier thing to do would have been just to back it first and not be screwing around with two layers, but I didn't know what I was doing. So um, let's hope that sticks. Why is that not sticking? All right. All right, we might have to tape that or cut it rather. Interesting. 
all right well that's kind of fun it has a kind of weird texture to it and is only sticking in parts but that's all right we'll mess with that a little bit more Ooh, it feels kind of interesting all right all right let's not spend the entire video okay look at that that's kind of cool all right and then we could put it oh yeah see and there it is all right all right check that out yeah we're gonna do that and I'm going to adhere this with some of my, my last strip of this tape. I can't find it, Carrie. I looked. I now I'm now I'm on the hunt because I didn't know I needed it till I couldn't find it. And now I'm like, what? This is not glued down yet. This is a piece of a brochure. So yeah. This is my maroon and my graph paper. I like the arrow that's already here. So I might, um, might do that. Let's cut that in half or ish. So we have two pieces to play with. And then I um, feel like I don't know. I um okay. So my idea was maybe to border it on the top and the bottom, kind of like that. Um, it's obviously a lot of busy and I feel now like I need a thing here, like a image, you know, unless we're going to put this in the middle, which we could do. Hi. Hello. What you doing? Uh, dinner's ready. I'm just oh, thank you. So we could do that. Then we're all on one page. Maybe we're not using this page, but then I'm out of order. So, oh my gosh, that clearly is not the answer, Allison. Okay, so then we, we're back here. This I'm not in love with. Okay, maroon I have. Graph paper I have inside here. Origami or folded paper I also have because I did that. Colorful paper is here. Place. I, I mean, I guess this is a place and it's part of a, this is part of a brochure, but it's also a place. So, um, I mean, we could do something like that. That's feeling very disjointed to me. So, so what? So we're going to need to pull another image or something. I could like do something like that, which I like. I could do something like that. And then it's like a little secret surprise. I could run this, you know, I could cut it smaller and run like to tie it in. Maybe we could do it that way. And then I mean, I guess you don't actually need two. Okay. 
I guess we could overlap this a little bit to tie the two pages together. So they don't look so disjointed. Um, I mean, I don't even have any idea what to put on here. Like I have nothing that even goes with any of this. That's how concrete my brain is. Um, I mean, even if I put like a, you know, like a, I'm just trying to see like a different image or something on top and have to go through my images and just kind of see, I feel like I want something in the middle. I mean, I'm just trying to look at what's on my desk, like if I like the space of something in the middle, so to speak. Oh, here's another item that I cut out like for glue book, right? Um, <laughs> you guys, I found a picture of a fly. Remember how I was looking for one? I know. Um, 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 do not discard. I'm putting that in my junk journal. Um, okay, I'm liking, I'm liking this I'm liking this right now okay we're gonna do this we're gonna put an edge down which edge this edge this edge we're gonna put this one down okay and we're gonna use this piece of paper so dang cute. All right. And we're going to kind of do that. And I want it to overlap this page so it like flows and it doesn't seem so disjointed. Okay, we're going to tie those two pieces together. Now, I like it just as it is right now. I don't think I need this over here. I do think I'm going to put this guy like up here. And like the arrows pointing to it, like to open it, you know. So I like that. I do like the let's go. I don't know what that means, but I mean like, I don't know where we're going. How about that? We're just going to do it like that. And then I'm going to glue or tape this down. And pray those edges don't, or layers don't separate, right? Let's see, I want it here. So this will be the one that gets taped down. You guys, I think I was supposed to make the vegetable for dinner. Eek. Shoot. <laughs> it's so funny to me how some of these just come together and some of them are obviously a complete struggle for me. And sometimes I think when I watch your guys' channels, some of us struggle on the same ones. And then other times, obviously, we struggle on different ones. And that would that makes sense to me. The ones where we are all kind of struggling on one, there was one, I forgot what week it was. And we were all kind of like, this was a tough one. And I thought that was really interesting. I don't know if I want to try and like line this up or make it. Um, let's see. I don't know where I want this box is what I'm trying to decide. I'm going to move it over. Like if I want it to edge or drop it down with this edge, I think we'll I think we'll do that. Okay. That decision is now made. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. I'm happy with that. Happy with that. Let's do something to this. You might consider edging your things before you glue them down. Just a tip, just a thought. 
obviously a little late to the game with my thoughts, so we'll just do something like that. Okay, so that helps with that. I'm not too sure what I'm doing on this edge, if anything, so I don't want to edge it yet, but yeah, that will work, right? Ooh, little fly in here. Okay, so there's that. You guys, that could be it. Um, I Let's check, do you see the little fly? I didn't get it. <laughs> only here, only here on AJ's Inspired Life can you watch fly catching uh, or fly trying to catch. How about that? Okay, maroon. We have it. Graph paper. We have origami or folded paper. We have colorful paper. We have a place, well, a place or a portion of a brochure, like they're both in this thing. So I could say I use them both. This is like obviously the mountains and the trees in Oregon, or I could say I swapped out the brochure or I could just say it's done. So I don't know. I think for now it's gonna be done, you guys. I'm gonna let it go for now and not push it. And I'm gonna go have dinner with my family and then Ooh, that was a doozy. I'm not going to lie. I don't know. Um, if I change it, if I add something, it again would be like an element here, right? Like something here. But I just don't know. So if I change it, um, that will be the picture I post, obviously, on my Instagram maybe. And so you'll see the finished product. But for now, I think this is going to be it. And this... This was a doozy. I'm not I'm not going to sugarcoat it and not my favorite page by far, but I'm totally digging it and it was really fun and I got to use this amazing paper that I love and I'm not hoarding it anymore and it found an amazing page in one of my journals, so I'm super stoked on that. And I'm loving like this like yeah. So, all right. There you go. There is um week number 30 in collage weekly planner by Marguerite Miller. So you guys, thanks for hanging out with me. And uh, woo, thanks for hanging in there with me. That one was a doozy. So I hope if you're playing along, I cannot wait to try and check out your pages. Let me know below if you guys are, you know, also doing it. And I try and check out other people's. And then, um, you know, in the future, if you haven't already done it, then please feel free to try them. They're super fun. And I think it's really good to um, obviously try new things outside of what we would normally create. So that's it for me. You guys have a great day and I hope you find something today that inspires you. Take care. Bye.